Alrighty guys, welcome back once again. This is Cameron. Uh, where we left off, uh, where we last left off, we had just taken care of the Pendleton twins and done most of the hound pits after that. So now I just got my next mission, which is to go to a party at Lady Boyle's mansion. However, before I do that, I'm gonna go see Piero again. See if there isn't anything I can get from him. Okay, that's not creepy. Now, Piero, he's a nice guy. He really is, but he is a creepy motherfucker. Always want to stay stocked up on these bad boys. Soon, hopefully, I'm pretty sure it's very soon, I will be able to get some upgrades for boot stealth so I can run and walk without being heard by enemies because as you can hear right now I'm just thumping about like a fucking like a toddler running through the woods alright oh this is not the party I completely I got the timeline mixed up in my head goodness gracious this is the royal physician okay so yeah we have to go get Sokolov because then he tells us about the part okay Okay, my bad. I totally forgot about this guy. This is this is a mission that does get played, though. This is a mission that does get played, though. Sorry. All this talking, I don't know. It's just messing with my ability to do it. Alright. Got some sun drop. Caldwin's Bridge. It's a nice bridge. <laughs> Something to look out for. See all them lights on the water. Those ones. That's right, right there. We'll be spotted for sure. Yep. Spotted for sure. So this one I like because you're finally getting dropped off in a completely different part. You know, it's not the same old map. I would love to play like a free roam version, like a like a sandbox, just like, you're Corvo, you're in Dunwall, and you're running around. But I doubt that'll ever happen. Although I cannot wait for Dishonored 2, because that should be tons of fun. Especially if they make a bunch of improvements and shit. But, I'm sure they will, because I mean, you know? Alright, there's a rune. Ooh, severely deadly beating. All right, we are in. We have to go through a bunch of places, you know, do a bunch of stuff. Same old video game crap. Do this to do that. Alright. I thought I heard a bone charm. But I guess not. Alright, now I have to... Oh, here we go. This is exactly what I was just talking about. Oops. Glad no one else is in here. Alright. Oh wait, that's not it. Yep, Boot Stealth 1. Awesome, look at that. So, once I get back to the Hound Pips, Hound Pits, I will talk to Piero about making my boots quiet. I am, after all, an assassin. I shouldn't be loud. Jumping around with the whale oil tank. Making loud ass noises. I'm just gonna hop in here. And no one thinks it's weird that it just randomly started, so that's a plus. Uh, I don't really want to do all moving. Yeah, alright. Okay. Now I'm going to go over there, which I reached. Thank God. Blocked from the other side, of course. Because the rune is right there. 
on the other side of that door that I can't open. But that's okay, because obviously they're not going to make a rune that is inaccessible. You know? So, boop. Right on down there. There's a chain right there. So I'm going to poop up onto that chain. Climb up here. <laughs> the game calls it the blink power, but it really should should have been called the boop power. Because you just boop on over. <laughs> Open the cabinet. Alright, there's five runes in this level. I plan on getting at least most of them because they're usually not too difficult to get to and they just come in handy you know like having powers what's not to love all right boop on down there I do want to go to drawbridge draw bridge way so actually as I am doing this which is video 4 right beside me you can't even see it. right there right there is my laptop uploading video 3 to YouTube so hopefully uh, curse it but anyways hopefully um I don't know oh yeah hopefully I'll be able to upload 3 and 4 today since I'm already 65% of the way through uploading video 3. So yeah, this guy, this house I'm in is the house of the guy that I was just out there. Um, he has a safe that has a rune in it. And the code is locked in his paintings. But, before I go through all that hunting, I know that he comes back inside and I do not want to get caught in his house by him alright here we go he's about to start coming back in alright door open huh. He somehow, after he passed out, was able to close the door. That's okay, though. And a rewire tool. Those always come in handy. When I fall off the top of the tower and shit hits the fan. Goodness. Alright, so let's see. This one has a... This one doesn't have any of the clues. Okay, I really love the paintings in this game. And just how, like, nice they look, you know? Even though it's only 720. And I keep hearing that fucking rat noise. That... Like, that's... Like, the rat noise, like... So there's a three. Uh, I know there's a seven in it. It's another one of those safes that I almost had memorized. Okay, there's a three... This one has a one. Yeah, I think it's like three one seven or something. I'm just gonna try that just in case. No, that's not it. No paintings up here because that's the outside. Which honestly, is a very bad idea. Cause I mean, think about it. There's no fucking... Alright, let's see. Okay. The way to the truth starts in the streets, the ship, and the slaughterhouse. Okay. So the ship. So one is the middle one. Now I need to find the painting of the streets. Oh wait, that's a ship. Or is this the slaughterhouse? That's the slaughterhouse. So three is the last one. I don't... It's probably downstairs more. Alright. That's not streets. Streets. Four! That's it, not seven. So, four, one, three. Okay, four, one, three. Got it. No problem. 
Let me run in here. Alright, let's do this. Four. No? What the fuck? Okay. Three, one, four. No? The fuck? This is not what you guys wanted to watch, right? Ah. Okay. The note said... Streets, whaling ship, slaughterhouse. Okay. So that's the ship. So it's seven. I knew it was a fucking seven. Oh, what the fuck. Alright, I am so sorry guys. This is terrible. Alright, 473. That's gotta be it. If that's not it, I give up. But it is. Okay, that was a huge waste of time. Except for not really, because I got a rune and 200 coin. Not that I've really been spending my coin on much, because I ain't been using too much, but... It comes in handy when you start buying upgrades. Because Boot Stealth 1 costs a little bit, and Boot Stealth 2 costs uh, a little bit more, so to speak. Alright, then there's another rune right there, but I'm pretty sure that there's a crazy guy. Look at this guy walking. He's fucking insane. I'm just gonna... Look at that. See that? Because that bone charm I got. Beautiful, isn't it? That was so quick. And this is an outsider shrine. So, he's gonna talk to me. Or he's gonna try to talk to me, but skip. Skip a rink. There's a note. Just, you know, a journal entry to help you start feeling bad for these guys. One thing to remember in this game, I don't know if I've mentioned it before. But after someone talks to you, for example, the outside or something like the cutscene, you start out standing up. So unless you have like boot stealth going on or something, like you wanna make sure to crouch again, because that is how you be quiet. Did I just... Where am I? I don't know where I'm going. I just kind of saw a room. I thought there was gonna be something in here. But it's pretty fucking... Oh, it's to get to the rich guy's house okay well I'll just blink back up I'm going over there to the spotlights to turn those off is there anyone in the streets even can I just go on down there the fuck are you looking at blow off chopper oh sounds like guards he uh Educated young men patrolling the city. <laughs> okay, so I don't usually take this way. That's why I'm being all weird. It's because I usually have a different way of going about this. This is also one where you get to see more Sokolov technologies, like the uh, walls of light. We didn't really get into those. But in those first couple levels, I had to pass by them. That was actually one of the challenges. I, of course, just went up and over, because that's the easiest way. I love how detailed this is. Like, there's all these different ways around and stuff. Oh, fuck. Alright, he did not hear me. And by he, I mean anyone. Okay, 20 coin. That fucking startled the shit out of me. What's he doing down here? Like... <laughs> oh, hey, money. Yeah. Not worth it. Okay. So... Gotta go turn off the spotlights. Here we go. 
Yeah, here we go. This is where I usually come. Okay. So yeah, some Sokolov technologies like the Wall of Light, which we didn't really get into too much, but basically you walk through it and it burns you to pieces because, you know, fuck that. Then that is the arc pylon. That shoots bolts of lightning or whatever the fuck, you know. And it's just, it's really, it's bad for your health. Um, there's another one, because they really, they fortified the shit out of this bridge. Alright, I'm gonna see what I can do for powers to help myself through this. Maybe some possession. I have seven runes. Shit, that's a lot. Okay, um, definitely possession. Oh, excuse me. I'm one short of possession two, which allows me to control humans. But that's okay. Maybe shadow kill? Because, I mean, it will come in handy, but I strangle people usually. So I don't think so. Um, I'm just going to leave it at possession one and hope that I can just get possession two at some point. Because I only need one more rune. And the problem is that these things do have a very good range. Which is why you have to be careful. Alright. Basically I'm trying to just blink. All the way up here. I hate these tight, narrow, like, stairways. So I always like to cheat, kinda. I mean, it's not technically cheating, it is a power that the game gives you. For you to use. But some people call it cheating because, you know, you're playing a stealth game and you can see through walls. Like, <laughs> it is definitely a uh, advantage. I will give them that. However, I don't feel it's cheating, like I just said. Cause the game gives it to you, it's not like a hack. It's nothing like that, it's just straight up a power in the game. Alright, I'm gonna hit this switch just for shits and giggles. Wonder why he's glitching out. Uh, I heard a huh. That's never a good sign. Like in Skyrim, like. Oh, that? Oh, incendiary bolt, awesome. Okay, I heard a huh, so I'm gonna check. I don't see anyone, so I don't know who said that. So that guy is obviously passed the fuck out, because I shot him with a dart. Oops, fell in there. Alright, okay. So here we are, just walking on across. I'm gonna blink as soon as possible. Just to get here. Not even locked. Like, and no one checks these, or something, I mean, like, <laughs> oh, shit, locked myself in, or closed myself and not really locked, because, like I just said, just said, yep, ooh, that was fun, okay. Those guys are obviously best friends. Why they always gotta put me with you, I just don't know. So I'm trying to get to Sokolov's house undetected. Just mosey on through. And the next rune isn't in this section, so I don't have to worry. I have my favorite bone charms so far. Like that fucking strangulation one, that's just great. Okay. See, like, for the most part, this level's pretty easy. I don't know, this has always been one of the easier ones for me. Like, there's a couple of hairy spots, but you just kinda stay high. That's all you gotta do, is just stay high all the time. And you'll just be, you'll be fine. <laughs> I mean, of course, I'm talking about, you know, staying above, above the enemies. Because no one looks up. 
I used to live in a third floor apartment and I would just stare at people all day because no one looks up. Another nice thing, like you saw that roof or that rune that was that um, outsider shrine, like they just give you the runes, like bam, see, thanks. I'm at four to five runes and now I can afford possession two. I'm going to get, I'm down to zero runes, but that is all right with me because, I mean, realistically, I don't even use possession very much. All right, there's that guy guarding. This is one of the hairy spots. It's not super duper difficult, but it is certainly a little more challenging like the rest of, than like the rest of this level. I mean, it helps, you know, that I've played all these levels so many fucking times. So that it's really not that hard for me, for any of them. Unless something fucks up. I'm still mad about that tower. <laughs> so, different things I could do here. I could take out this guy. Turn off that, sneak over there, turn off the wall of light, and go through which I might do I could also possess someone and just walk through the wall of light alright so like they were just talking about how the wheels should never stop and what do I do? I shut down the wheels so I decide I'm not just gonna possess and just walk on through easy as that would be. I want to give you guys a show. You know, I gotta think about the, uh, the loyal followers. Boop. Take out the whale oil. Blink on up here, cause like no one notices anything. I love how, I love when they say that, cause that means they do notice, like, the fact that it's gone. So they're like, hey wait a minute damn whale oil but but that's all they notice they don't notice that it's like things are bad for the city getting and he turned his back just gotta hope that no one sees me but there's a bone charm I can't remember what bone charm that is and it's just a bunch of fucking rats that you have to deal with so I'm just not even gonna touch it there's a lady in a basement I feel kind of bad now there's a lady in the basement surrounded by a giant horde of rats, and there's some corpses, and the thing is, you throw the corpses, you save the lady, you grab the bone charm, and you get the fuck out. But I don't give a shit about that stupid bitch, so, so sue me, right? Okay, we're getting closer to his house. Less than 100 meters. There's a rune right there, and that is in his house. So... Plus, there's no guardsman, basically, until you actually get to the pace where he is. So that's pretty nice. Um, you do have to watch out for weepers, if I remember. I don't know if that's just part of the level, or if that's just part of the high chaos level, or what. But I feel like there's a weeper somewhere around here or something. Or maybe another crazy survivor or something. I don't know, there's a bone... Uh, oh, whew. <laughs> it's a bone charm I can't seem to reach. I know it's obviously not inaccessible, but I just don't care that much about bone charms. I don't know what it is. Like, I got the strangulation one. I got the stupid ones. Okay, let's see. North End of Cauldron's Bridge. Stuff in a secret room. Turn on the faucet in an old sink three times. Secret door. Ugh, I don't even, like, I don't even know where that room is. It's just a room. I do know that this city is falling the fuck apart, though. That is something that is clearly clear. I don't know. Uh, what's that? Feathers. Yay, money. Money, money, money. See, anyways, there's guardsmen up there, which is where I need to go. I'm just gonna blink on over here. They're not super observant. So, you know, you can stand, like, up here. 
Oh shit, maybe I was wrong. Oh shit, maybe I was definitely wrong. And I just died. That is awesome. You guys just watched me die. Like an idiot. By falling. And I have no idea when I last saved. So this should be interesting, shouldn't it? Resume from last save. Which hopefully is like right when I entered. Because otherwise I'm bone. Alright, it's still loading. It's like, hey wait, when's the last good time this guy saved? Like <laughs> Alright. Alright, so this isn't terrible. There's a door here that I didn't go. Hmm. You know what? Screw it. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna check dark vision to make sure that there are no weepers. So seriously, I get the feeling that there was a weeper. I don't know, maybe it's... Maybe it's just the hallway and the way the stairs all sound the look the same. But, I don't know, there's no point in going in here anyways, there's nothing in there. Alright, thanks a lot. I almost didn't want to run just because you can see it and it's annoying. Okay, I'm gonna blink up here. Just like last time. Now, I have a feeling the secret door has to do with the bone charm that is inaccessible, kind of. You know, I figure since I'm here, if I see a sink, I will turn it three times. But I can see the bone charm, I can see the door to the bone charm, and I just don't give a fuck. <laughs> I just want to do this, especially now that I died. Oh, that was so lame. But, that's the lesson. Don't be cocky. I know there's a rune somewhere. Yeah. Okay. So. One thing I'm going to do is... Knock that guy the fuck out. I'm fairly certain that there's two of them. There might not be. Am I just crazy? Oh, nice. Nailed it. Nailed it. Alright. So, yeah. Like. We could go down there with all the guards and shit. Or, you can come up here. With the one guard that you can snipe with the fucking sleep dart, like I just did, I just showed you. Come over here, and you have to knock out so glove. However, it's so easy, cause he's obviously very observant. Basically, now the thing is, you have to escape with him. However. They make it sound harder than it is, because I'm going to save her just because it doesn't really take any extra work. But anyways, it's easier than it seems like it would be, because although you move a little bit slower, you can still blink. So basically, all you need to do, like, there's Samuel right there, less than 100 meters away. You blink onto a couple of rooftops. You blink onto the floor. And that's about it. You could save all these people, if you wanted. Which I really don't. I don't know. I don't really feel like saving anyone. So I'm not really playing a heroic Corvo, I'm just playing a... kind of stealthy, you know. If you've been watching me play, you know I'm... Yeah. So anyways, blink on down here. Samuel, the boatman. And you guys have got it done. Look at that. That was See, that was such an easy short level. This video is going to be so short, everyone's going to be like, what? <laughs> I did not kill anyone. Look at that. I almost ghosted it, but that one guy saw me because I just was walking around like a monkey. But okay. So that is definitely going to help my chaos. <laughs> Zero kills. Unlike seven. 
So, I'm going to go do the Hound Pit stuff just to keep this video, because this, this video is really short so far, so I'll do the Hound Pit stuff for the most part here, so that I can keep the uh, next video a little bit shorter. Because now I have to interrogate him. You go about it two ways. You can either bribe him by buying some super fancy alcohol from Piero, toss a bunch of money, or you can use his fear of rats. Because he's scared of rats, and you. It's just. I'm gonna use the rats, I always do. I don't wanna waste my money on some asshole. But that's okay. Yep. <laughs> so now it's the middle of the night. Got people waiting for me. Sketchy as fuck. Well, I don't get it. like, we're like the one boat on the harbor. Like. Well done. They couldn't have. Alright. Yeah, sleep sounds good. Whatever. Get some sleep. The interrogation's gonna start when I wake up. Well, it's already started, but, like, it's gonna finish when I wake up. Because I'm gonna be like, Yo, bitch! What the fuck? Bah! You know. The same old, same old. At this rate, the video's gonna be... I'm gonna be done recording this video before this one, this other one's done uploading. It's only at 91%. Yeah, I guess I was. Sounds good, Emily. You can stay here whenever you want, baby. Oh, I have to show you this. It's not. Oh, hey, what's this money? Lord Pendleton's reward. Found some other means of neutralizing them without taking their lives. Ingenious. So yeah, see, look at that. I got 200 gold. There's a drying of you without your scary mask. See, I am obviously her father. It's me. It says daddy. And she's a cute little girl. I love you. I love you, Emily. You're just our killer. You're just our girl. Alright. So I'm going to go be silly. Fuck out of here. Run on down. I have to make sure that I can. Alright. There is no snowflake. Wow. No. Yeah, you were looking through the log. I'd rather you didn't spy on people here, Piero. I couldn't bear it if she knew. <laughs> oh. Don't worry, I'll be discreet. But now I'm gonna walk right in. Hey, baby. Can't you see? I'm about to bathe. You are bathing, baby. I'm sorry, Callista. It wasn't my intention to intrude. Maybe you'd like company. Poor host. Under other circumstances, I assure you I might welcome you. Oh, yeah? The see, Corvo's got it. Tyranny, Rats, plague, and tyranny are such cock blocks. That bitch wants my D. But anyways, I'm sorry. But can I... Peek still? No, she's still in her fucking... <sighs> so, I'm gonna go talk to Soklov. That's just a little goody I like to do every time. Yeah, I know they're in there, Piero. Shut up. Or you're not Piero. Well... You are the one consort. You're part of this rabble. And I know you have your reasons. You're part of this rabble. All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's The Lord Regent's mistress. That is what we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. So let's see if the rats are hungry. Sorry, Sokolov. Sorry, Sokolov. Stop! Stop! I will tell you what you need to know. Damn straight. 
can only tell you so much. I was not permitted to see. So not permitted to see her face or her whole name, but you know she's a boil. Lady Boyle. The Boyle's little bash. Can you give this note to Lord Shaw? I will. You'll know him. You'll know him, yes. I knew Sokolov would see reason and tell us. Okay. He never actually liked Alright, so I'm gonna save here. I'm gonna cut this video here. Uh it was a nice little shorter one for you guys. If you get tired of my fucking voice. Just <laughs> I um I hope you enjoyed it. That was the Royal Physician. As always, you know, like, comment, subscribe, say whatever you want. You could be first. You know, I have a story to tell you grandkids. I commented first on this video. I tell you what. But, all that aside, I will see you guys next time. Man.